But first up tonight, uh, Joel Fitzgibbon. Now, he's been a federal MP for nearly 25 years. He's a former defence minister and agriculture minister. He's been around the traps a while. He won't say this publicly, but it is clear that Mr Fitzgibbon is very concerned at the way the Labor Party is going forward. He knows Australians want Labor to return to its grassroots, pro-jobs and pro-blue-collar worker mantra, but he's seeing the left faction of the party turn it into a rabble. He's watched his very safe seat of Hunter nearly lost at the last election as voters deserted Labor in favour of Pauline Hanson's One Nation because they saw Labor's anti-mining policies as a threat to their jobs. He also has watched the good folk of central Queensland in mining towns like Mackay, Clermont, Rockhampton, Townsville, Gladstone. They voted en masse against Bill Shorten because he was saying one thing about miners in St Kilda and Balmain and West End and the opposite in Rocky and Clermont and Mackay. Fitzgibbon and other right-wing faction members like Shane Newman and Anthony Chisholm have formed the view that Labor can't win the next election unless it changes its tune on climate change and backs workers on coal rather than telling them to reskill. Now today Fitzgibbon has come out very strongly and he told a splinter group of climate change activists within Labor that he won't be supporting them or taking up their offer to attend a meeting. He said during COVID, Labor should be building on the strengths of those industries which have performed well during the crisis. And of course he's obviously referring to mining. I consider Lean, which is the group, the Splinter Group's fundamentalist approach to environment policy, a departure from our party's key ideals and objectives and a barrier to our capacity to win the next federal election. Fitzgibbon also wrote to the leader of that particular splinter group, Tim Lang, what this illustrates is a clear chasm between those in the left and the right factions around coal and climate change. Not rocket science, is it? Fitzgibbon is a realist. He knows Labor can't win until it fixes its problem with blue-collar workers. The sad reality for Labor is that while Anthony Albanese is leader, a leader, Labor leader, and he's a terrific guy, they say, he's a terrific guy. He's a member of the left faction. And while ever he's a member of the left faction and the left run the show in the Labor Party, the Labor Party can't win. Maybe, Fitzgibbon, maybe he should be leader. There'd be a much better chance next time around, that's for sure.